Benign prostatic hyperplasia. What is the prostate? The prostate gland is a small, walnut sized organ that is part of the male reproductive system. It is located just below the bladder and in front of the rectum, and surrounds the urethra, which is the tube through which urine and semen pass out of the body. What are the functions of prostate? Production of fluid for semen. The prostatic secretion is important for the proper functioning of the sperm cells, and therefore also for fertility in men. Closing of the urethra up to the bladder during ejaculation. During ejaculation the prostate, and the bladder sphincter muscle, Close the urethra up to the bladder to prevent semen from entering the bladder. Hormone metabolism. In the prostate the male sex hormone testosterone is transformed to a biologically active form dihydrotestosterone DHT. What is benign prostatic hyperplasia? Benign prostatic hyperplasia BPH is a non-cancerous enlargement of the prostate gland that typically occurs with age. The prostate goes through two main growth periods as a man ages. The first occurs early in puberty, when the prostate doubles in size. The second phase of growth begins around age 25 and continues during most of a man's life. Benign prostatic hyperplasia often occurs with the second growth phase. As the prostate enlarges, the gland presses against and pinches the urethra. The bladder wall becomes thicker. Eventually, the bladder may weaken and lose the ability to empty completely, leaving some urine in the bladder. The narrowing of the urethra and urinary retention, the inability to empty the bladder completely, cause many of the problems associated with benign prostatic hyperplasia. If you like the content, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. What causes benign prostatic hyperplasia? Aging and the testicles. The cause of benign prostatic hyperplasia is not well understood, however, it occurs mainly in older men. BPH does not develop in men whose testicles were removed before puberty. For this reason, some researchers believe factors related to aging and the testicles may cause benign prostatic hyperplasia. Higher proportion of estrogen. Throughout their lives, men produce testosterone, a male hormone and small amounts of estrogen, a female hormone. As men age, the amount of active testosterone in their blood decreases, which leaves a higher proportion of estrogen. Scientific studies have suggested that higher proportion of estrogen within the prostate increases the activity of substances that promote prostate cell growth. High levels of DHT. Another theory focuses on DHT, a male hormone, synthesized from testosterone, that plays a role in prostate development and growth. Older men continue to produce and accumulate high levels of DHT in the prostate. This encourages prostate cells to continue to grow. Scientists have noted that men who do not produce DHT, do not develop benign prostatic hyperplasia. Insulin resistance. Research suggests that insulin resistance also plays a role. In people with type 2 diabetes, the body doesn't respond as well to insulin. Insulin levels are high, but ineffective. This excess insulin stimulates the liver to produce more insulin-like growth factor, IGF. Insulin and IGF are believed to trigger prostate growth. What are the risk factors for BPH? Age 50 years and older. Family history of benign prostatic hyperplasia. Chronic inflammation in the prostate gland. Medical conditions, such as heart and circulatory disease, type 2 diabetes and obesity. Lack of physical exercise and erectile dysfunction. What are the symptoms of BPH? Urinary frequency. Urinary urgency. Trouble starting a urine stream. A weak or an interrupted urine stream. Dribbling at the end of urination. Nocturia. 
Urinary retention. Urinary incontinence. Pain after ejaculation or during urination. And, urine that has an unusual color or smell. How is BPH treated? Treatment options for benign prostatic hyperplasia include, lifestyle changes, medications and surgery. Your doctor may recommend the following lifestyle changes, for those whose symptoms are mild or slightly bothersome. If lifestyle changes do not help, or are not suitable for you, you may be offered the following medicines. Surgery and other procedures for BPH. Most men with urinary symptoms, do not need to have surgery, but it may be an option if other treatments have not worked or give you severe side effects, or your symptoms are severe. Then you may undergo, surgery or other minimally invasive procedures. Transurethral resection of the prostate TURP, involves removing part of the prostate gland, using a device called a resectoscope that's passed through the urethra. Holmium laser. This treatment uses a laser to remove the portion of the prostate that is blocking the flow of urine. The procedure uses a laser fiber passed along the inside of the urethra. Thank you for watching. Please check out the links in the description below for additional information and resources. Also don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for tuning in.